Commander, is it alright with you? Could I spend this time with you instead? Oh. 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 Pardon. Oh no, I mean, um, why don't we look over this paper we discussed earlier? Now. Oh. Um. I'll be. It will be alright then. Can, can we go now? Haha. <laughs> of course. On the look on his face, I know what is what it is now. From the beginning. From the beginning, he was never loved at me. Maybe I misunderstood all along, but then, is this actually the face he makes in front of someone he admires? <laughs> if he's not laughing at me, then what on earth does it mean? Mother Lloyd, I have some business to attend to. Would you, will it be alright if I take my leave? Haha, <laughs> of course, brother, to be honest. Well, I was honored to have that chance to escort Marchioness the Vale. I was starting to feel bad for my fiancé. Void PMC. Alright, go ahead, Edie. If it's part of your duties, I can be helped. But I hope you do only your job nothing more only his job ahem yes well then please excuse us courtesy until next time your grace are we going to your office i'd like to change out of this clothes if possible that could be rather time Con consuming why don't we just go directly there is a place I'd like to visit you with. I with you. Pardon? Where do you want to go? Hmm. Then I'm happy to see this document so quickly, but but why? Why is this cave all of places? Uh -huh. Well, for now, I only brought along the most important documents pertaining to the case. If you like to see more, please let. Is something amiss, Commander? Um, Sir, Sir Edgar, there. May I ask why we came to this case? I had word that Commander Lorelio favors the case. <laughs> Someone recommended it to me, so. Who on earth? <laughs> ah, si mga si Prince pala nag recommend. With all due respect, a man and a woman came in here together. Could easily be misunderstood. I'm center afraid. It seems like an unsuitable place to carry out government business. And more than that, this establishment and its staff are all rather oppressive. Um, excuse me? Are you ready to order? Please give, me, give us a moment. Commander, if you are uncomfortable here, we can move to another venue. No need, haha. <laughs> I really like this place and I enjoy all the dish dessert here, so please choose whatever you like. Oh, wow. My, what an honor, Commander. As you know, Plophilius is the Empire's premier dessert cave. We offer 349 kinds of dessert with 120 different beverages to match. Our most popular items include Haven as well as strawberry, eh? cheese that adore the lemon and chocolate stalker. It was the wave cream. 
We can have whatever you like, Sir Edgar. Oh, uh, uh, and finally, there's our new. We'll have the last one, please. Do you mean our new menu item, Fitch? You Fitch lovely peach? <laughs> Whatever. Pardon? No, no, no. I meant that one before that. Oh, I see. One um, chocolate stalker? Stalker. <laughs> it was the way for cream, please. Sure thing, I'll bring it right over. It seems you're born of chocolate, Commander. Is that... It's not... Is that not allowed? Of course it is. Hehehe. <laughs> Don't laugh. Haha. <laughs> My apologize. You're still laughing. Ha ha ha. So sure. Whatever. Hmm, there is something strange here, sir. What is it? According to this document, the horse in bulb was black with white hair above all four of its hooves. Is that correct? Yes, that's right. I remember because I saw the, the horse myself. The hair just above all of its hooves was definitely white. But that can be... The horse that went out that day was black, but only three of its holes had white hair in a, about them. I'm sure of it. You see that my parents were especially found out that particular horse. What if the two of them really were murdered? But what then? I had to uh, sorry Edgar to reinvestigate. Will he permit such a thing for a case that's already several year, years old? Mm -hmm. Um, sorry, Edgar, could you possibly Commander Lilia? First of I'd like to apologize for my anticipation investigation. I was clearly negligent, however. Oh, here's, oh here comes the refusal. Were I to correct my mistake, would you forgive me? Of course, I mean, actually, I, uh, I'm the one who should be asking you for a favor. Favor. Thank you very much, Commander. What are you talking about? Thank you for giving me this chance. Hmm. That looks has been not bothering me all day. But somehow... Seems both unfamiliar and yet also so also familiar to me at the same time. Well then, first things first, I'll request a necropsy of the horse, whatever the comma sound. Uh, it's the expression father, t father made whenever he looked at my mother, said Sir Edgar. Um, I have a question for you first. I'm not sure myself what I want to find out at that moment. Aren't you aware that reinvestigating the case could reflect poorly on you? I know. If you know, then why are you so willing to help me? It's only concerned about what I like and how I feel. But the word just spill out without my noticing is admiration all that you hold for me in your heart <gasps> oh that was known to be continue na yon <laughs> my god holy god char it, it's not admiration anyhow if i reopen the card cage I was really very reprimand since I was the one in charge. And forming a team to carry out their investigation is also bound to be difficult. But despite all of that, okay, I'd like to at least correct my mistake if I can even if it is a bit late 
Your mother and father were my mother's old friends, and they were both always extremely kind to me. So I even like the slightest bit of injustice, but somehow I am bold involved in their deaths then as the one having overseen the investigation i feel i must take responsibility and right my wrongs commander Aurelia, i sincerely apologize would you like would you please give me a chance to set things right oh growing baby horn um mm -hmm, that's thank you sir i'm sorry but i will but would it be all right if i talk my live now oh of course ahem well then please excuse me stand oh, oh and commander I appreciate it all, truly all. Mm -hmm. Commander Aurelia, um, did you just get bombed? Ah, <coughs> excuse. Well, actually, from the look on her face, it seems the Marchioness was the one who had got bombed. Mm -hmm. Wait, did you dump her? Your Highness, what are you even doing here? <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Yung mukha ay eh, mukhang lulo. Oh, come on now, Eddie. Here, why don't you have a seat? <laughs> Is that a disguise? Very good mother yarn. What do you think, Furby, isn't it? Anyway, a uh, different note. <laughs> Did you dump her or did she dump you? You do tell me. Ah, but the butler, you know, kasama din. Neither. As I'm told you many times already, I don't like her in that way. Besides, she's too good for me. If you feel you don't deserve her, then what kind of man would so her? Mm, well, first of all, she is the empire's only marchioness in her own right. She is also the commoner of the second knight's battalion as well as the fourth aura user. So the man standing beside her will need to be just as great, just as perfect. And since that man will be marrying into her family rather than the other way around, I'll be honest that he have a slightly lower stage, station than her. He also will not be able to inherit his own family's title, so it'll be preferable if he were the second born son rather than the first. Oh, and... And to understand Commander Larelia, he needs to know how to wear wild as word. So it'd be good if he were knight or at least a knight in training. <laughs> oh yes, he'd also need to be someone who would understand the burden of being a knight commander. Anyway, hmm. would you really be alright with her marrying someone else? Is it that? Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. I think I'll be fine with that. <laughs> oh, I just thought of someone who I believe it's fifth, fifth year criteria for me. The DML fan club's adorable young youngest member, Sir by the Beskant second son and oh and he's a knight too <laughs> commander I'm gonna quit the DML club plan and become the marginalized husband it's a surprise PP or 5 whatever 
cook. Madre, yeah. If that was a plot to, so, to make me jealous, just give me give up already. Nothing's going to happen anyway. Why? Is it because of your titles? If that is, then I'll do whatever it takes, even if I have to make a dual title system. That is not the problem, and I know all that will be impossible for you to do anyway. So then, are you worried about what other people will think? What possible reason could you have, Eddie? That's why. What did you say? I could not catch that. It was... Is what I said. What I really can Hey, it's because Commander Lorelia hates me. Oh, ah, uh, hmm? Huh? Is that so? Oh, yes, well, of course. Reimburse you for that table. Biter. All right, thank you. It's all right, Eddie. Aha. Ju you just keep to work hard. You just have to work hard from now on. Thanks will be okay, trust me. How exactly? Haha, <laughs> there is always a way. <laughs> Very good, Mother Yon. Hmm. Who on earth could it have been? Who did that to my parents? Is there something I don't know? When was a different horse brought in? Who drove the cart that day? And Bill? What do I say to him? Oof, oof. My lady, my lady. Dash. Huh? I'm sorry, I know I should not disturb you while you're training, but... Not at all, it's fine. What's going on? Mm -hmm. A little while ago, Doug Perel came, delivered a gift, then left. What? A gift? He came here? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, but the gift's box is a bit unique. Flash, what is this? He came here to deliver this? About yarn. Oh, shriz, shriz, shriz. Just what it is Commander Edgar off to? <sighs> Did he really just show off out of the blue to bring me a percent? Wait, could it be? Boom. Now that I think about it, he was acting strange the entire time that day. And his apology was so sudden. I apologize, Commander. Out of I'm not sorry at all. <laughs> <laughs> Your imagination. Plus, he ordered that chocolate cake is as if he did not eat for my sake. Go, go on, take the chocolate cake. I'll be the last. It will be the last you ever eat. Oh. <laughs> Could it be? I sincerely apologize. Would you please give me a chance to set things right? No way. Everything he said seems so censored. censored. I'm just being silly. That will not make any sense. There's no way this. Could it be a bomb, right? Huh? What all this? A blanket? Oh, so sweet. So not all. Slide. Hello, Leah. Edgar bought me flowers today, and not just a blanket, but an entire courage pole. A courage pole? Shall I be happy that Oli gave me a single box? It was so absurd when I asked him when there were so many flowers and what we could possibly do with all of them. Do you know what he said? He said that when he went to get some. He ended up buying any that could possibly symbolize love in the lo language of flowers. That's why he ended up with so many. 
So in the end, we ended up replacing every single flower arrangement and mansion with the new flowers. Hmm. You're wrong, my lady. Are you still feeling cold? Shall we? Shall I pitch you some hot tea? No, no, no. I'm fine. Oh, but would you happen to know what kind of flowers these are? Oh, my. Those are. Inadis. Ano? There you previously flowered the only bloom in the red des desert. Do you happen to know what they mean in the language of flowers? Why, of course, Daimian. I want to console you. Mm, so, 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 so blushing. I see. Console. Wait a minute. That box? Did Doc Feral give you flower? Oh, I... I could actually use some tea. Would you mind bringing me some? Um, my, yes, of course, I'll bring some right away. Commander, it, at this point, it appears we review all of the documents threatening to the card case. Good work, Vice Commander Daikon. Ah, oh, Daikon, you might go now. I'm going to review everything one more time. Again? <laughs> Commander, why are you so working so hard? I know you're the mer meticulous turtle, but seriously? You sleep less than four hours total in the last three days. Love is important, but you keep going on like this. You'll work yourself to death. As I'm already said, I'm not doing this out of love. What? Don't give up so easily commander you only sent her one book but speaking of which who even sent flowers in a gloomy black black box <laughs> it was a choice made in consideration that merchandise stays i've been told she is like block it seems you're placing blind feet in the dml club <laughs> why don't you put all this aside and just tell her how you feel, direct vice commander? Do you know how many women in the empire hold title in their own right? Pardon? Well, I'm, as far as I know, only the second knight commander. And do you know why that is? I mean, of course, is isn't it? It's because the position is so difficult, frisely. Commander Aurelius put in more work and effort than anyone. And yet no one has recognized that so I imagine her burden must be behavior heavier than anyone else. I could not possibly ask her to give off everything and became the chess. The chess. I will never want to burden her any further. That's why that's one way of showing her the courtesy she deserved. My apology, apologize, command. No, no, excuse me. Do you have a moment, Sir Edgar? Oh, um, welcome, Commander. I've been informed that the horse car gas is ready for inspection. If you are free now, then that is all. Oh, Oh, if you are too tired, I could always go just go by myself, Commander. No, 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 we can go together right now. Oh, <laughs> I'm not so tired that I can go. Ah, my gosh. Are you alright, Commander? Mm hmm. Tapos na.